Welcome to Adult YPWW, Lesson 5. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's lesson text is coming out of 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 1 through 8. Today's topic is Encourage Yourself. 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 1 through 8, and this is the King James Version. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire, and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept, until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, and Abigail the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abiathar brought thither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. The aim of this lesson is to show how the discouraged can overcome discouragement by simply encouraging themselves in the Lord. The memory verse for today's lesson. I will read the King James Version first, and then the New International Version of 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the, in the Lord his God. The New International Version. David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters, but David found strength in the Lord his God. The introduction says, Do you know what David did when he got discouraged? He encouraged himself in the Lord his God. He didn't blame himself for what happened or for what the people were saying about him. He didn't dog himself out or beat himself up. In other words, he didn't put himself down. On the contrary, he lifted himself up. He built himself up. He encouraged himself in the Lord. It sounds simple, but you don't need a complicated answer. You need a simple answer. When you get discouraged, encourage yourself. Simply encourage yourself in the Lord. The discussion says the word encourage means to inspire, and the word inspire means to influence, move, or guide by divine or supernatural inspiration. When you get discouraged, you have to dig deep down within yourself and draw upon divine inspiration to inspire yourself. You see, God is the divine in you. He is the greater one who indwells you. He is greater than the devil and everything else that is in the world. This means that you have what it takes to defeat whatever is in the world. You have what it takes to conquer and overcome whatever is in the world. You just have to tap into it. You just have to draw upon it. You just have to pull on it. When you are discouraged, you can feel like you just can't function. But 1 John chapter 2, verse 20 says, Ye have an unction from the Holy One. No matter how discouraged you get in life, you have what it takes to make it. You have the unction to function. 
Another word for unction is anointing. The anointing is that divine inspiration that you can draw upon to inspire yourself or encourage yourself in the Lord. The application says, don't wait for somebody else to do it. Sometimes we are guilty of looking for other people to encourage us. And when nobody else does it, we get even more discouraged. But you have to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. David didn't have anybody to encourage him. All the people he had around him were so discouraged that they spoke of stoning him. So if David was going to overcome discouragement, he was going to have to do it all by himself. He was going to have to encourage himself in the Lord his God. And he did. What are you waiting for? Whom are you waiting for? When you need encouragement, encourage yourself. Don't wait for your family. Don't wait for friends. Don't wait for fellow church members. Encourage yourself in the Lord. The lesson illustration. There are times in all of our lives when we could use a good old pat on the back. But that type of thing is not always forthcoming. Sometimes you have to take your hand and pat yourself on the back. Sometimes you have to look in the mirror and tell yourself that you are doing a good job. Sometimes you have to give yourself a pep talk. Sometimes you have to be your own cheerleader and cheer yourself up. Sometimes you have to tell yourself to go ahead. Speak encouraging words to yourself. Now the best encouraging words come from the Bible. So get the word of God, hide it in your heart and speak it out of your mouth. Speak over your life, speak over your family, speak over your circumstances, speak over your situation, speak over yourself, encourage yourself. This point is wonderfully illustrated in the song, Encourage Yourself by Donald Lawrence. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. And no matter how you feel, speak the word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. The questions for today's lesson. And you can search the scriptures on your own. Question one, why was David distressed or discouraged? Question two, give two reasons. How does this compare to why people are discouraged today? Question three, what did Jesus say was the way to overcome evil? Question four, in light of this, does it sound too simplistic to say that the way you overcome discouragement is with encouragement? Question five, is it prudent to wait for somebody else to encourage you? Why or why not? Question six, have you ever encouraged yourself? If so, how did you do it? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.